Well, hello, Heidelberg. Colonel Bill Butcher, Commander of U.S. Army Garrison, Baden-Württemberg, here in Heidelberg, Germany. Hey, you know, every week we do this question of the week, uh, hopefully informing our community on the great resources we have available to us uh, here in Heidelberg and, and, and our entire Baden-Württemberg community. And I'll tell you, this week we're highlighting a great one. Now, we have a great uh, support within our medical community here in Heidelberg, and in specifically with the Heidelberg Medical Activity commanded by Colonel Paula Underwood, who I have today as a guest uh, with us on our video blog. Uh, Paula, uh, thanks so much for being with us today, and thanks for inviting us into your home here to talk about this important subject. You're welcome. My pleasure. Well, listen, we'll get down to business. You know, last year, a uh, lot of concern over uh, H1N1 and, uh, and how it was going to impact our community. So uh, I really wanted to take that on as an issue uh, early here and discuss what it is that uh, we have in place this year in support of the flu season and how you guys are responding to that. Well, that's you know a great question, Bill, because uh, influenza is a very uh, severe problem for many people. In fact, uh, there are many, many people in the States who, uh, who die every year from influenza, so it's a very serious issue. Uh, as you know, and as you've stated last year, we had the H1N1, which was a pandemic. Uh, the good news this year to prevent that is part of the formulation of this vaccine includes H1N1. So unlike last year, uh, people won't have to get two separate vaccines. It's one influenza vaccine. Yeah. So that's what they're going to get, and we're, we're available, we're here to help them. We're going to have that vaccine at the uh, bazaar that's coming up, up in October. We're also going to have the vaccine for the retirees for our Retiree Appreciation Day. Uh, as of next Tuesday, beneficiaries can come into the Caserne to Nakrichten and get their vaccine here. Uh, the hours are from 7.30 in the morning till 1600, Monday through Thursday, and Friday from 7.30 until noon. Fantastic, and certainly we'll have that information published on our website, and I'm sure yours as well, so that the community can uh, understand where they can go and, and get their flu vaccination this year. Um, you, we, we both know that TRICARE uh, has supported our community for some time in, in its response to the needs of customer off the installation, and I know that we've recently gone through a change in TRICARE contract. I wanted to really discuss with you on how you see that impacting us here in, in, in Germany and, and Heidelberg specifically? Yes, well we have a brand new contract as you mentioned, it's International SOS and it started on 1 September, but as this is brand new for Europe and a new contract, there are some issues uh, right now, there's a little bit of turmoil as we start this and what, what I mean by that is there are some delays in getting some referrals. But we're going to work through that, and TRICARE is working with us, and the contract is working to resolve these issues. And I want to reassure the public that we are going to get them what they need. Our TRICARE Service Center representatives here are working really, really hard, so we're going to take care of our patients. It may be a couple of months or so until we get that referral process down, but we're working hard on that. Wonderful. You know, um... We, uh, we announced, as you know, on the 23rd of June, the Joint Staff announced uh, the closure of 22 installations across our community here between Mannheim and Heidelberg. And I know that, um, that the community has questions about how we will support them through a variety of, of, of means, um, our, our tenured activities. Certainly one of the most important is, um, is the medical community. Can you talk a little bit about um, your intent for support as uh, the community goes through closure. I know this is a real concern for people and uh, they're anxious about it, but I'd like to reassure them that as we go through this transformation, again, we will be here always as there's a population to serve. We're going to ensure that people get what they need, whether we can provide it ourselves with the staff that we have remaining or whether we get that on the economy for them. We will ensure that they get their health care. And we won't leave until everyone else is gone. Wonderful. Uh, you know, Paula, we, we've had a discussion many times about the difference between the type of service that, um, that Heidelberg had when they had a, a hospital here and, and now that we, we have a, a clinic. Um, 
what, what services are available to the community. Um, can you talk a little bit about uh, what the acute care clinic does here on Nockrichton and the differences between that and, um, and what, um, what was here previously, specifically the emergency room component of that? Right. This is a tough one because there are people here that remember that we did have a full-blown hospital where we had inpatient services. We had an intensive care unit. Uh, this is part and partial of having an emergency room. When people come through with true emergencies, and that is life-threatening issues like a heart attack, I use that one as an example. If someone has what severe chest pain and they may be having a heart attack, normally they would go to an emergency room where they would be stabilized or transferred immediately to the intensive care unit where definitive care could occur. We don't have that capability here any longer. We're just an ambulatory care center with an acute care clinic, not an emergency room. So if someone thinks that they're having a true emergency, something that's going to threaten their life, limb, or eyesight, they really need to get hold of uh, the DRK. They need to call 117 if they're on post and get to the nearest emergency room. The acute care center here, on the other hand, is really for bumps, bruises, uh, broken bones, we can handle that, uh, headaches, uh, back pain, that type of thing, but it's not really for something for which someone needs definitive care. Another thing I want to say about that, and especially in terms of chest pain, time is very, very important because we say that uh, time is heart muscle. So if they just come here and then we have to turn around and call DRK for them, we're, we're wasting time and we may be harming them and not getting them definitive care quickly, whereas they can do that and get to where they need immediately rather than coming through our acute care center. Yeah. You know, and it, when you talk about that, I think what's powerful for the community to know is that you know, we have, uh, we're here in the cradle of medicine in many respects and we've got uh, the Heidelberg uh, community itself is known for um, it's academic excellence and certainly the medical e excellence as well. Can you talk about the local health care and, and, and your evaluation of that? You know, I can speak about that personally. It's almost been a year now since I was in an accident myself. And when that happened, they took me immediately to the University Clinicum uh, emergency room and they, they took excellent care of me. In fact, I can run now five miles uh, every other day on this ankle that I broke and uh, fractured a rib and I can personally attest to how great the care is here. I have no doubt and no compunction about myself, my family members, our soldiers receiving care in the host nation. They are superb. Well, I'll tell you, Paula, we're so glad they took great care of you because you take such great care of this community. Um, thanks so much for what you do and what uh, your your soldiers and civilians here do in support of, uh, of, of our families and our soldiers and civilians uh, within the Heidelberg community. It truly is uh, perfectly expert. You know, we have this uh, health covenant together yes. and uh, mm -hmm. I think we're honoring that wonderfully within the community. So thank you, Paula, very much for providing such expert advice and guidance to our community this week. And I'd like to just take the opportunity to tell the community Kind of the question of the week is, well, we'd love to hear from you about, uh, about health care and about uh, support here in the Heidelberg community and, and how we, uh, within this covenant, uh, continue to make it as good as it possibly can be. So, as always, thanks Heidelberg for listening. We'll see you next week with a new question and, uh, and, and some more support and service to our great soldiers, civilians, and family members. Thanks.